Hey beautiful people, today I'm just going to show you some history. I'm going to show you how to research, alright? This is the last video I'm doing about uh, Europe. Alright, King of the Romans. I'm going to start here. Alright. You got to understand as well, the Holy Roman Empire, when they lost... Jerusalem and the Crusades, they called Rome, Holy Roman Empire, and called it New Jerusalem. All right, you can look that up, but I'm going to go into some history. So this is Otto and his wife. It's from a museum. Otto one nineteen twelve to 1973. So in the Bible, the New Testament is in Europe, If you if you didn't know that. The Hebrews, the Romans, are the Hebrews, all right? The people who are holding a Roman Empire right now are not the real Ro Ro Roman Holy Empire. It has been basically infiltrated like all of Europe, as I've been trying to tell you guys. This is Otto II, all right? As much history as I can put out in this video, I will. Right. Why is it doing that? Sorry, babe. See, this is Otto three. This is him when he's older. This is him when he's younger. As I told you. Even though some were kings, they were also priests and kings. Okay. I'd like you to understand that. So he was next in line. This is Conrad. The second. He ruled, he was king of the Romans from ten twenty seven to ten thirty nine. This is Conrad the second, right? King of the Romans. This is Henry the third. This is Henry when he was younger. This is Henry Seal. Hebrew. See what color his skin is. All right. From 1046 to 1053. Henry the third. King of the Romans. That's the line. He was a king and a what? And a priest. The most high children were the kings, priests, knights, lords. My computer has been giving me a little bit of trouble lately, so I haven't been. Okay, it's Henry V. Henry VI. So this is the order. Next. Go look that up. More kings of the Romans. Or the king of the Roman, Frederick, who was a priest and a king. And this is the order, and these are their names. Henry the Seventh. Right. Here, 
put too much pictures in this one because I just want to show you something so you can do your own research. Go to my screen. Alright. I showed you some, right? So, we're just on regular Google. The list of the monarchs of the German kings. King of the Romans. The king of the Romans. So when you were king of the Romans, you were king of Germany, Rome, and Italy, right? Not pro and that's the the inheritance. So this is these are the Hebrews' ancestors. Okay, this is the lineage. You can look them up at your own time. Just look up King of the Romans, right? And then I'll show you where it stopped. So now, this is when the war started. All right, after Charles V, Holy Roman Empires assumed the title of King of the Romans. All right, remember the Holy Roman Empire? I have a slideshow about that too. So, after the Holy Roman Empire, this, this is the last, Charles V was the last crowned emperor here, okay? And now I'm going to show you. And that is when you guys went to war and they lost the Rome. All right. So at that time, there was no more Rome. So now we're going to go to King Falk of Jerusalem. Okay. Because this is a history you guys need to study. You got to understand this. Who was his successor? Baldwin III, his son. All right. So now we're going to keep going. Who was his successor? Almeric I, king of Count of Jaffa and Ascalon. All right. So you got to understand now Isabella of Jerusalem. You have to Maria Comina, her spout. You guys got to understand this is the history of the Israelites. This is their history. Who succeeded who? Who succeeded who? Who succeeded who? The monarchs. So study the monarchs and you'll know. All right. All right. Italy. These are the different houses. See, House of Anjou. I told you, House of Barcelona. These are different House of Bourbon during the Spanish War succession. So right here, House of Habsburg. This was the last before it was infiltrated. So I'll show you. So these are the kings. Look at the dates. Henry I. Some pictures are false pictures, but you have to know art to see, to have the right pictures of the people. All right, we're gonna keep going. I'll show you when the infiltration starts. You'll know even the simple, you'll see what castles they lived in. All right. This this is the lie. So this was the last Hebrew king, but it wasn't him. That's not his picture. It was Philip II, 1598 to 1621. And then they went into war. So you'll see every part of Europe in the 1600s went into war. All right. The last real Hebrew queen of Austria was Anna of Austria and was son of Philip the first and she was queen of Madrid so Italy monarch is wrong everything Joanna the Mad if you watch my slideshow about the real Spain it talks about Joanna the Mad she was from 1516 to 1555 Hebrews or went to war so everything after this is a lie okay that's this is this is a lie they made their own monarch now okay castile all right i showed you guys about spain right so here you go all the hebrews gave their kings names like the great the strong the brave direct uh, uraka the reckless all right the desired the noble we're gonna get Remember I told you about the wise? I told you that the king of Leon, the wise, this was him. It was Alfonso the X, the wise. He was also king of the Romans. 
So you have to understand the lineage of the people and understand. Because one king would be like a king over like Rome, Italy, Sicily. You just look them up and you'll know. So this is Peter the Cruel, the Just, the Summon, the Brave. Yeah. So when I told you about the wise king of Lyon, let me pull this up quickly. Remember, Leon is called Portugal today. Remember, Leon is called Portugal today. And what does it say? The wise king of Leon. Alright? So I told you, fairy tales are real. There's just stories about things that happen before the time. So, the king of Leon. I've been shaved by the king of Castile's daughter, and I've courted his barber. You have to understand, the Israelites only married other noble Israelites. And when you study these, who succeeded who, and who was with who, you'll understand. Some people were already betrothed to be married from they were babies, all right? Before they were even born, they were set up to be married that king's daughter from the next city, from the next country. That's how they did it. They married amongst themselves. That's why they were strong. It's because they were committing iniquity and called, doing witchcraft and calling up spirits and all those stuff while they went into captivity they were doing a whole lot of strange stuff but they were they were very smart not like the people nowadays 